to ride with Ivanhoe. And call me spring to help me ride along. The song we sing is free to join the song. Ivanhoe, Ivanhoe, far and wide throughout the countryside they know. On his banner, justice in his sword, he rides against the manor where tyranny is lord. Rich and poor, the gallery goes forward with Ivan Hall. With Ivan Hall. Well, what is it? I crave pardon, my lord, but I bring urgent tidings. Sir Rufus of Salisbury has returned from the crusade. He came ashore last night and took horse within the hour. He rides to join Ivanhoe. But why is this news so urgent? My lord, Sir Rufus sailed in the same vessel as King Richard. Then he will certainly bring news that Richard is alive. Ten thousand curses. If he tells his story to Ivanhoe, then Sir Gilbert's efforts will be ruined. Why was this man not dealt with as soon as he set foot on shore? My master, the warden of the ports, heard of it too late. Too late, too late. It's always the same cry. Is everything to be lost because one man opens his mouth at the last moment? All is not lost, my lord. I have men who will ride their horses to death at my bidding and catch this knight, even if he ride a day ahead of them. Then give you orders without delay. If you bring me news of this man's death, you may name your own reward. I'm already thinking about it, my lord. Then hurry, man, hurry. Sir Rufus of Salisbury, welcome, welcome to Rockaway. Thank you, Jeffrey. And when did you get back from, from the Holy Land? Three days ago. I've been writing ever since with a message of great importance to Sir Ivanhoe. Oh, Sir Ivanhoe is at uh, Sir Gilbert's banquet. Sir Gilbert? Of Mullinsford? Yeah. Oh. And Sir Ivanhoe's father, Sir Cedric, is he at the banquet too? Oh, no, sir. Uh, Sir Cedric refused to go, even though the banquet was for a most important purpose. Oh, what was that? to announce the coronation of Prince John. What? But King Richard's still alive. I have a talisman to prove it. Well, tonight Sir Gilbert is to offer proof of King Richard's death. I must get to that banquet straight away. You're tired, sir. And you'll rest here after your journey. There's no time. Well, at least allow me to offer you an escort. The woods are full of brigands these days. I've already dealt with some, and if need be, I shall deal with more. I dare not waste another moment. Please convey my greetings to Sir Cedric. Very well, sir. Godspeed and the safe chair. My lords, I have asked you here today in the knowledge that we can now end the dreadful times that we have endured with no king upon the throne. Whilst Richard tarried in foreign lands, 
Prince John took up the burden of the throne without its privileges or honors or any thought of gain. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah, Prince John. Yeah. And now, Richard is dead. That's not true. The king still lives. Proof, Sir Gilbert. Where's your proof? Aye. You shall have your proof of Richard's death and from an eyewitness. And then our duty shall be plain, my lords, to crown the rightful heir to the throne, Prince John. This sailor saw Richard go to a watery grave. King Richard left Palestine on your ship, homeward bound. Yes, sir. Well, speak up so these nobles may hear you. Yes, sir. I was one of the crew. What happened on that voyage? A great storm came up and, and blew us off course. We fought the storm for eight days, sir. But on the ninth, we were wrecked off the coast of Crete. And what of King Richard? Did you see him after the ship was abandoned? Yes, sir. I saw him hit by a spar and knocked senseless. Two knights swam towards him, but a huge wave took them all under. And that's the last I saw of those knights, or King Richard. Your oh, pardon, sir, I have no... Oh, Chester, what is it? Sir Rufus of Salisbury has just arrived. Well, Sir Rufus, we'll show him in. He would talk with you alone, sir, on an urgent matter. Where is he? In the antechamber, sir. The king is dead. Long live the king. Long, Long live King John. John. Do you not drink to the toast, Sir Gilbert? Oh, your pardon. My thoughts were elsewhere. Long live the king. My lord. Chester, what message did you give to Sir Ivanhoe, Chester? That Sir Rufus of Salisbury has just arrived and wishes to speak with him in private. Oh, fool. Do you not know that Rufus of Salisbury was with King Richard when he sailed from Palestine? Did it not occur to you to tell me first of his arrival? Your pardon, my lord. I did not think there was harm in giving the message. Oh, am I the only one who can think clearly? Come, we may yet repair the damage of your blundering. And then we hauled ourselves up on the shore and fell into an exhausted sleep. When we awoke, we discovered that we'd been taken captive by a band of people whose language we couldn't understand. Rufus. Rufus. Huh? Oh, I'm so tired. I've taken a blow on the head just now that's making my senses swim. And King Richard was taken prisoner with you? We were sent on a long march. He insisted that I should escape because he was being too well guarded. And Richard is still prisoner. Where? I don't know. Say that it's somewhere in Europe. It, he gave me this. It's the clasp from his belt. Give this talisman to Ivanhoe, he said. And tell him that I'm still alive and that I shall return. So the lion heart is alive. Somewhere in Europe. Sleep. Of course you shall sleep, Sir Rufus. But I can offer you better hospitality than this. Take our guest to a chamber and see to his comfort. First, hear his story. Your proof is no proof at all. The sailor is mistaken. Richard is alive. Perhaps. Surely you cannot believe all that Rufus said. He's tired beyond endurance. He was rambling. We shall see what sort of a story he will tell tomorrow. And in any case, he has the right to tell his own tidings. Uh, perhaps you would care to see where we lodge your friends, Sir Ivanhoe. Thank you, no. It's past conversation. Let us wait, as you suggest, until he is rested. Besides, I have no wish to miss your excellent banquet. Captain. Gerth, they've taken Rufus on the pretense of allowing him to sleep. I fear his bedchamber may turn out to be a dungeon. Let's see what you can find out. Oh, my pretty, uh, couldn't you use a strong arm? I could indeed, and thank you kindly, sir. Come on, then. All right, we have him safe enough now. Go back and watch for any move Ivanhoe may make. He appears to have no suspicion of our intentions, but I'll not make the mistake of underrating his intelligence. Aye, sir. Well, you were right, sir. Sir Rufus is in the dungeon. 
And they'll torture him until he denies Richard lives. We must get him away quickly. Sir Gilbert is down there with him now. More reason to hurry. Go now. I'll follow when I'm not observed. Sir. This man put to the question at once. Get your instruments. Very well, my lord. Make the most of your sleep, my friend. When my jailer returns, you'll get little rest enough. A charming bedchamber, Sir Gilbert. <laughs> uh, difficult to say which looks more peaceful. Yes, well, there's no time to lose. Change their cloaks. funny going on. We can't find Sir Gilbert. Lock this door and admit no one. I'll go and warn the guards at the gate. Oh, the king and the prince, one bonny, one a prince, with one's which wild of people know. Sir, as quince was a prince, so we sing to the king. Sing a hey, nonny, 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 ho, ho, ho. Sing a hey. Uh, can I help you, sir? What do you mean, putting our hands all over? What have you been up to? Take that. Sir Gilbert! No, fool, you blundering fool! Stop them! Raise the drawbridge! What are you waiting for? Sound the alarm! Settle my horse! Aye, sir! If you don't bring him back alive, you'll answer with your life! Sleep well, Rufus. You're safe now. He is in the sanctuary of the church. As long as he remains here, no mortal man can claim him for any reason. That is the law. Yes, but when he wakens, he'll insist on leaving. I know Sir Rufus. Then he would leave sanctuary and the church could no longer protect him. Unless he vows to take the most direct route to the nearest seaport and then leaves the country. As long as he stays on the road, no man may harm him or take him. Hull is only 12 miles from here, isn't it, Father? Uh, and that road outside is the most direct route? That is right. Good. When he wakens, will you give him this message for me? I will. Tell him not to try to reach me or anyone else. Tell him to accept the sanctuary of the church to Hull, and there let him embark for Europe and try to find where Richard is still held prisoner. Then send us word. I will. Bless you, my son. Thank you, Father. Come on, Gus. <laughs> Gilbert? Hasn't wasted much time, has he? Oh, but Sir Rufus is safe now, sir. Yes, if Gilbert respects the sanctuary of the church. You'd better find your horse, Gert. He should be back at Rutherwood by now, so take mine. We'll need them both tomorrow. Yeah, what are you going to do, sir? I think I'd better stay close by in case Gilbert decides to take violent action. Well, all right, well, I'll be back as soon as I can.
sorry I've been so long, sir. But Gilbert's men are guarding all the approaches to the Priory. Anything happened? Well, nothing to reward me for a very uncomfortable night in a very knobbly tree. <laughs> and Sir Rufus? I'm well, still in the Priory. Let's hope he takes the Prior's advice. I'm sorry, Prior, but I can't take your advice. Even if I found Richard, what good could I do alone? No. We must raise many men. An army to free him. I must get to Rotherwood and speak with Ivanhoe. The road's clear. The Gilbert is crafty. Take care, my son. Take the first ship to Europe alone. Sir Gilbert, this is Prior Fulmer. I would have words with you. Sir Gilbert! Yes, Prior? Sir Rufus has sworn to take this road to Hull. There he will board the first ship leaving port. The church extends sanctuary to him on this journey till he shall leave this country. That sanctuary must be respected by all men as though he were still here in the church. I respect the sanctuary of the church. Oh, Rufus? Your horse is in the stable. Watered and fed. Thank you, Prior. Oh, good. Sir Rufus is safe now. Yeah, safe so long as he doesn't leave the road. And Gilbert will try to make him do that so he can recapture him. Oh, I never thought of that. But of course he wouldn't want Sir Rufus to go searching through Europe for King Richard, would he? No, we'd best travel through the woods. Keep close to the road. He may need help. Come on. Only two miles to Hull, he can walk that. He'll be all right if that's the worst Gilbert can do. Good day, sir. Hmm? I see your horse is lame. Could I be of any service? Well, you could if you're going towards Hull. That's just where I'm going. I'll hitch your horse to my cart, and you can ride up front with me. Oh, thank you. It's an ambush. to replace yours, which he lamed. A mile beyond that bend in the road lies Hull. And beyond that, Europe. Once again, as in the Crusades, I'm in your debt for saving my life. What can I do to show my gratitude? Find Richard. I shan't rest until I do. Godspeed. So, you 
will not be able to hide the truth after all, will you, Gilbert? He said Richard is alive. I know it. You know it. The prior knows it. And tomorrow all the country shall know it. Weren't your plans to crown Prince John a little premature? Speed of lightning, bold and brave and gay. In justice he is fighting to win a better day. Shout a cheer, adventure is here. Fighting. 